And now back to Open Mic Friday with Mike Spence and Butter. Welcome back, Open Mic Friday. Without Butter, because we put her back in her dressing room. <laughs> we got you, Dr. Ask, all cleaned up. He's... He's fine, not to worry. Uh, but now we can talk about something serious, and uh, one of the biggest subjects that I'm always interested in is what I have to look forward to uh, as I get older, and most people uh, need to think of, and that's perid periodontal dental disease, gum disease. And uh, we all know about that, and, um, but we don't know quite you know, what's going on with and you know, what we should be looking at, what we should be thinking about, and that's why we've had you on the show. And maybe you. give you a chance now, finally, after all the dog hair, to uh, talk a little bit about uh, what you know best. Okay. So what we have to look forward to, Mike, is that we get to keep our teeth the rest of our life. Okay, and that's what's exciting. At our, at our age and as, as the older generation, the 70s and 80s, um, that people are keeping their teeth their whole life and their lifestyle uh, be able to chew as we get older you know our digestive systems slow down so it's even more important to keep our teeth and so what what dentists and pay and, and the public they're keeping their teeth okay when we went into the rest home uh, when I, 30 years ago when we started my practice here at Kit Carson I would go in and most people had dentures in fact they passed a law in the state of California that you had to put their name on their dentures because they would get them confused between all the other patients okay people would go in the other rooms and take them so and then the staff had a hard time trying to rearrange them. Oh, this doesn't fit. Anyway, now you go in the rest home, and most people have their teeth. So the lifestyle is amazing. My mother's 87. She has all her teeth are perfect, and, and her lifestyle, she can chew, and, and, and she doesn't have to, you know, so it's really cool that way. So, um, and so, but more teeth are lost uh, after the age of 35 from gum disease. But again, as I said, most people are keeping their teeth, and it's because of dentists, um, better education, okay, better treatments, and, and, and the yuppie, the, 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 uh, what our generation wants to keep their teeth. What is that? The, the boomers. Exactly, yeah. The boomers. The boomers. The yeah. boomers, yeah. Boomer, yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. So um, we have, um, so my recommendation when I first got out of, uh, uh, I first started my practice 35 years ago, was I'm going to only need to see you once a year because I'm going to be so motivating and, and I'm going to educate you um, so that you can, um, and you're going to brush so well that I only need to see you once a year. Well, as the years went by, I have my teeth cleaned every six months, and that's really the most healthy thing. Do you have Delta Dental? Uh, no. What no, type I of garbage plan do you have? <laughs> I want to know the dentist that takes care of your teeth because you have beautiful teeth. Yeah. Well, we we take care of each other. Just walk around the office. We actually say, have yeah. six. We have five dentists in our office. Oh, okay. So yeah. you all take care of each other. Exactly. So you're not actually okay. all buying <laughs> dental insurance, are you? Actually, the, the, the cheapest <laughs> thing to do is to take good care of your teeth. Yeah. So what we've learned now, when we fr when we first started practice, I would say, would it be great if we could, uh, like the heart surgeon? They say, if you don't get this done, this treatment done, you're going to die. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I said, and I remember saying this, I wouldn't it be great if we can say that? You know? And now, after the last 10 years, we can say that because the, the most common, um, one of the most contributing largest factors of heart disease is chronic infection. Okay, and That's gum right. disease is the most common cause of chronic infection. That's what I was going to lead to because your your stroke and all of that it, sort of thing and is diabetes, and gum disease. Yes. so you're you're or, unable to just say, oh, I don't care. I'm just going to let my teeth go. You know, I'm not a big uh, yeah. dental person, but you really, it's de directly connected to it's directly stroke, connected. heart attack. There's some researchers actually are thinking that that uh, chronic infection is actually a more important factor of, of getting a heart attack than smoking and then heredity and, and diabetes and other things. So it, what happens is the same kind of bacteria that's found in our mouth are found in the plaques in our our, our, in our arteries, okay, in the cell, in the arterial wall, and uh, and the body, and the, the body reacts to that, and that's a major contributing factor. So that what happens is the liver produces these C-reactive proteins, okay, that can, and that's n good at first, but for an acute infection, but for a chronic infection, that's actually damaging. So, so we can say now, if you don't clean your teeth regularly, you, you're going to die. Yeah, that's okay? direct cor we can, correlation. We can say that now. Yeah. Okay. So um, anyway, so there's yeah. a direct connection. Yeah, I thought it was tied. That. At first, the first few years, I didn't believe. It. I go, oh, it's just mm -hmm. because of smoking. And most people that um, have gum disease are smokers. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's all tied together. But now they're finding that the chronic infection is really a major contributing factor for heart disease. Well, you brought a bunch of. Uh, 
items that are, I think, just great from everything from a single tooth missing. I know you have kind of an implant uh, technology, and there's been a lot of technological change. Why don't you tell us a little okay. bit about how that works? So if you lose teeth, either due to cavities, okay, or mm -hmm. um, or, or to gum disease, okay, uh, having our own teeth, and when you lose a tooth, everything shifts, okay? So the top, the top teeth, if you lose a tooth down here, the top teeth drop down, the back teeth drift forward, and then, it, then the arrangements, the teeth are all meant to work together, okay? And so when you have a missing tooth, it really messes up your entire mouth and entire face, and it can cause, contributes to headaches, and but that's another subject, mm -hmm. okay? But so the, the, we hardly do any bridges now. We just, we replace missing teeth with, with an implant system. So this is what a typical implant system looks like. It's made of three parts. There's the implant the body itself, so people can see implant that, right? body mm -hmm. itself, okay? Okay, yeah. and the, the, this is called the abutment that screws into the implant, mm -hmm. and then a crown goes over the top of that. Okay, so when you get done, uh, you have a tooth that looks exactly uh, like a, a natural tooth. And what's really exciting is the technology to create these abutments. We do them custom now. They're all milled specifically just for you all through e uh, email, and uh, it's just it's totally exciting. I'm just totally jazzed because we can do uh, highest quality perfect, you know, really good dentistry very, very efficiently and effectively, okay? So now if we do more than just one tooth, then we can, we actually have systems where you can replace teeth and this is a little bar that's connected and you can snap on a partial there, so that's that. And then another one that now we have, if you're missing teeth and you hear advertisements, mm -hmm. there's certain uh, companies <laughs> that advertise that, that you can have teeth in a day. Well. It's not a teeth in a day, okay? They can do the surgery in one day, and we can do that actually in our office right here, so you don't have to go to Sacramento or Roseville or wherever. Uh, and this is this is actually, um, well, actually, I'm sorry, it's actually four, we call it all on four because all the denture is supported on four implants. And these are set at, a, at an angle to help support um, because there's structures back here that you might not be able to put an implant there, so they have an angle, kind of like a shelf, mm -hmm. a bracket. And then the, and there's little holes in the denture that screw that screw in to hold the denture as a, a fixed. So it's your, like your own natural teeth. So nobody needs to have these floppy lower dentures anymore. Okay, and there's all kinds of systems that we can do to secure the lower denture. And the ability to be able to chew with a natural denture, with a regular denture, you can only chew about one third the normal chewing ability. But with implants, you can mostly restore your chewing to yeah, a, a for normal people who can't bite. really see that with the camera, there are four different piers, almost screw-like items that go all the way down into their right. jaw, and then these these all pop in, uh, pop in yeah. on those four piers. So you're not going to you don't have to worry about kind of the, exactly. uh, the loose. The loose teeth. Right. We do that right here. You, so you, older, right? you do not have to go any. You don't have to go to the valley. Normally, the thinking is, oh, I have to go to Sacramento to get the best dentistry done. That is absolutely not true. We went through the same courses, the same schools, and, and in fact, there's yeah. uh, people have said that the best dentists are actually up here, and these are like specialists that practice in both places, and they realize, wait a minute, these Amador County dentists are actually quite sharp. Okay, so we're very proud of that. Now, here's another really slick system. If you have a denture, it's less expensive. It just snaps onto these little locator abutments, we're called, mm -hmm. and it just goes down here and it just snaps on right, like that. Right, the snap on. That's it amazing. Snaps off yeah, that's and just snaps amazing. on. And it's all these, these are the, the physics are yeah, let me well tested. Like, I'm putting those in. Yeah, like that. Okay. I'm locked. So, I'm locked in. So, one of the, the really exciting technology is uh, through, we have a, a brand new uh, cone beam CT scan. It's a 3D scanning machine, just like a medical scanner. So, we can actually see all around and see the, the structures in 3D. And actually, uh, the, co the computer okay. generates, uh, uh, this is all bone with the mm -hmm. implants in it. And then this is the soft tissue. Uh, Reconstruction, come on. Well, you have all the most modern technology. We're about to end the show, okay. but... Okay. So know, this, these are all made by computer yep. so to guide the implants exactly in the right place. It's all just an amazing amount of it's, progress it's technologically. A, it's crazy. The equipment that you have. Absolutely crazy. Over at Jackson Creek Dental. I mean, we're really looking at high-tech, high-tech stuff. That's true. <laughs> Dr. Ron Ask, Open Mic Friday. Appreciate your viewing, and uh, please stay tuned to more TSP and TV it. programming. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. You're watching Amador County's number one news and sports leader, TSPN.